Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tales from Dunwich. Dunwich. Every time I say it, I get more hungry. But then I play this game even further, and then my appetite goes completely away. <laughs> it's that creepy. Uh, so last time we met our little monster friend with a nice little cleaver, and we were able to hide from him. And so wait, what I... Oh yeah, I have strange numbers. I'm guessing this is the um, combination to the safe. And where was the safe? It was in one of the rooms with the creepy drawings, wasn't it? I don't remember which one, though. It wasn't this one. Yeah, it wasn't this one. Uh, yeah, creepy drawings. I gotta say, I gotta give a huge thumbs up to the devs on that one. I mean, those pictures were pretty insane. Like, the first one, you know, the woman with the zombie kids, it was kind of creepy. And then you have the human flesh puppet, which was freaky, I'll admit. But then you had that picture with the two women sitting their kids on their laps, smiling evilly. And there's a guy hanging upside down in the background with them. That made my balls jump. That was insane. Yeah, so <laughs> huge thumbs up to the devs on that one. It was really, really creepy. So let's see what's in the safe. Let's see if this works. A wrench and a bullet. There's a wrench and a bullet in the safe. Why would someone put these in here? Well, I can think of what to do with the wrench, but the bullet, however, not so much. A single bullet doesn't usually mean that you're happy with life. If you know what I mean. So I have no idea what to do with that. Can, can I don't... Should I shoot it? What am I gonna shoot it with? My character doesn't need a gun. He's that badass. He can just make the bullet shoot out, shoot out of their holes by just banging on them or blowing on them. Like a blow dart. Only more deadly. <laughs> Sam is that badass. He can do it. There's nobody else in this world that can do it but him. Where was that fireplace that I'm thinking of? I'm trying to find... Where was it? By the way, this is the picture I was talking about. Like, look at it! If this thing doesn't make you cringe, then I don't know what to say! Why am I looking at it again? Get out of here, Sam. Come on. Let's find the fireplace. <laughs> oh my god, that is just... <laughs> no. A lot of nopes. Alright, there we go. The creepy room. Another creepy room with uh, the fireplace. Steel grates. Um, no, not the bullets. Well, <laughs> that would be f kind of funny. Just to try. But, uh, yeah. Someone went to a lot of trouble to seal up to the fireplace. I can't pull... That's why I wanted to use the pipe wrench. Come on. No, Sam. I used a wrench on it! What are you doing? Come on, let's try this again. Here, wrench. Do it. There you go. Does that work? I'll be able to remove the bolts now. Yes! Do it! Strange passage. Yay. Let's go there. Let's... Why not? Yeah, I can feel a breeze coming from the fireplace. I think I can fit through the passage. Well, then you... Go ahead. Just, just go, Sam. Just, I know you're scared, and I am too, to be honest. Why would someone have a passage in a cave in their house? What is this place exactly? To summon demons, of course! Demons! Demons everywhere! There's always demons in a place like this. Right? I assume so. I mean, only place to go is here. Ooh, okay, getting more creepy now. Mm, anything yet? Nothing to pick up, nope. Nothing to inspect. Let's keep going down. Because that's a good idea. Hmm. Yep, I was right. Demons. Because it looks like a temple of some sorts. Why, there, why is there a temple in this place? Oh. Is that our daddy -o? Jesus. Looks like something ripped him apart. I'm gonna guess it, it was Chef Boyard Dick! It was our nice little old friend. There's an old roller here, it's not loaded, but I better take it anyway. Yay! I don't need a gun, come on, Sam. Here, put the... there we go. 
Wait, loaded revolver. Yep, it is loaded. Ooh, what is all this? Gore. Let's take a look! My god, it's as if something was feeding on them. Was someone bringing victims here? Again, Chef Boyard Dick. It was him. Like, there's nobody else in this place, so... Well, well where am I gonna go now? Oh, look! Speak of the devil! Here you are! Oh, wait, I have a gun! There we go. Can I go over there and shoot him? There we go. Boom! Right in the face! Come on, you don't need a gun, Sam. You're too badass for that. Come, what? I shot him. I had to. He was going to kill me. Is he dead? Well, yes, that's why he's still not coming at you. I mean... Yeah! I think he's dead. What? Uh, what's going on? What the hell is going on? My thoughts exactly, Sam. I think we summoned a demon. Oh no! Well, we summoned something. I don't know what it is, but we, <laughs> we summoned something. Yep. Huh. Wait, is that it? The old ones were, the old ones are, and the old ones shall be. Not in the spaces we know, but between them. They walk serene and primal, undimensioned, and to us, unseen. Ah, oh, that was it, to be continued! Ah, oh, that was, that was a little short, but still it was fun, um... Uh... There's like four episodes for the, of this, and I liked it. I really did. Uh, it's nice to have a point-and-click game where there's actually the threat of death. I mean, it's not like most point-and-click games they have, you know, you can't pass the certain scene until you solve the conundrum, and it's not like that here. You can actually die. I, I mean, it's not hard. It's not hard. <laughs> to, you know, get past the threat. You know, you just hide or, you know, you use the gun. It's pretty easy to figure out. But still, it's nice to know that option is there. And yeah, it was really creepy. I love the Lovecraftian influence on it. And I hope, you know, the next episode releases soon. I'm, I'm not entirely sure if we'll play as Sam again, because it says Tales from Dunwich. I wonder if it's like different stories just intertwining into one story after like three episodes or something or it could be that we'll still play as Sam because we'll we don't we haven't answered many questions yet where's our father what the hell happened to him who did we kill was that our dad or you know who's the corpse and what the hell did we just summon what did we do something about the old ones and you know I I'm guessing this, the blood we spilt was the was the reason for the summoning maybe I don't know but yeah I'm guessing we'll find out in the next episode but uh Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the game. And if you want to check it out, it's in the description below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!